Okay, stop me if you've heard this one before. A guy walks into a tailor shop and he turns to the tailor and he says, my Unimog roof is falling apart. Can you help me fix it? So this guy reached out to me because he's got this really interesting vintage military vehicle. And these vehicles have a canvas cover that's fabric, that's cloth, that can be sewn. So his first thought was, well, I'm gonna find somebody that sews. He really wanted to make it here in America, and so we were a good fit. So he reached out, and we're going to see him. Is All that right. it? That's it. Cool. All right, okay. Look at that. Hi. How are you? Aaron? How are you? Ray, I'm Shay. Oh, hey, Eric Garrison, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for if you letting don't us uh, no come problem. over. Yeah. I got it from a fellow locally, okay. um, a co-worker actually, and he had needed some engine work and he had been bugging me for a couple years about it. He's like, man, you need to get this and fix it up. So I hardly even knew what it was at the moment. Sure. Or at the, when, at the, at the time when yeah. he said it. And so I kind of Googled it and I was like, oh wow, this is too, this is too neat. So you do like, you like so, to fix up vehicles already. Yeah, that was yeah, already so. kind of a- 1960s air conditioning, on, off. When this all comes down, it folds up. Yeah. This folds forward to make it like a convertible. What I see here is a few connection points that we need to take care of. We're gonna release this whole piece from the bar so that we can take a look. Then we just need to figure out what kind of fabric we want to use. What's gonna be durable enough, weatherproof, look good. Um, and then it's all about the hardware and the fixtures. These. 60 year old fixtures are incredible. We're gonna to need to find some really good authentic replacements, um, but that are functional. Everything here has a function. And we wanna make sure that our new one is just as functional and beautiful. This right here was like the 1960s version of uh, cruise control. So you pull this back and you can set it and then the engine just keeps idling, keeps rolling at that speed. The reason that they ask you not to do that in the army is because of course, if you throttle this back and you keep rolling, and then for some reason, let's say you fell asleep or popped out, that vehicle will just keep going without you. So it can be a curse when you um, forget that it's on and your vehicle gets away from you. It sounds like you're speaking from experience. Uh, All right, we got our work cut out for us here. We've got to do something about this window, get an insert in here. We've got some rivets and attachments down here that pull the hood onto the vehicle. And uh, I'm really excited to get back to the shop and see what we can do. I got one more question for you. Can I take this for a ride? See how it turns out. Challenge accepted. We've got our materials all laid out. We've got our hardware and the material we're actually gonna use, the different types of fabric. So we've got the window insert here. Um, that's gonna be a couple different things. A webbed vinyl that's used for convertible covers already, waterproof, heavy, good and stable. And an acrylic for the windows. This is a nice 40 gauge. Again, durable, window waterproof, and perfect for this purpose. That's gonna look beautiful. We've got all of these amazing leather details, like this gear shift cover. I'm gonna call in my leathersmith friend, Emily, to help us out. She's the master of all things leather. And I've got this heavy, durable suede, perfect for this project, exactly what we need. Then our rivets. The hardware is the tricky part of this project. So we've got a bunch of different types here and we're just gonna try them all. We've got some Chicago style that screw into each other and then we've got rivets that will pound together. So depending on the project, depending on the area, we're just going to try out all of these cool little gadgets and see what brings it all together. All right, let's get to work. Let's do this. Yes. The first thing we're 
gonna do is start with a loose fitting, putting the cover over the metal frame before we rivet it in place. The matte black looks so good. We are not that. What we're doing now is the door needs a little bit more room to move as we open. You see how it's kind of scooting around? So we're inserting a new gusset here that we're going to rivet on. We're just going to pound that on so that the door can open and close and have the kind of flexibility that we want to be nice and functional and strong. We should trim this top piece, rivet this to the edge, yes. and then we'll add the rivets to ensure that the soft top cover does not move. I'll tell you what we'll do. Keep your cup, take a few, and keep it up there. Let's Let's see. We just need a little... <laughs> it's just this guy. It's so weird. Where does it... Have you ever been missing that one piece to a puzzle? So if you look really closely, I'm trying to find two of those and one of those somewhere all over this big Unimog body. And it is. There's, there's, the, there's the one on the bottom there. The so one what one it is, is it's, yep. it's the, it's it's the, the flat, gusset flat. It's the you have one job. <laughs> we are riveting on this metal brace that holds the door on the front edge of the windshield so that it can hinge open. These doors, because they're removable, each of the pieces, each of the components of the cover are their own individual unit. And so this can be removed while keeping the cover on and the hinge is what's gonna hold it. So we're pounding the hinge on right now. <laughs> Men at work. So we added the cap rivets to the male ends right here yeah. and then we'll add a granite block behind these rivets to help prevent bounce and it'll help the male end of the cap rivet mushroom over and keep the top on. These little leather strips are actually how all of the pieces attach to the metal frame of the vehicle. We just slide these little leather, leather pieces through uh, metal attachments and up back through. It's actually really simple, but very effective. Mm -hmm. So we'll attach them now and then get these doors back on. These little cuties are die cast. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna use this as a uniform shape instead of clipping out the holes ourselves and freewheeling it. We're just gonna actually have this nice uniform shape and pound it out. They, they're like uh, cookie cutters for yeah. harder material and it provides, yeah, it takes away the human error, which yeah. is great. So I'm gonna check this. So to recap. Yeah. I have been crawling all over this thing, trying to figure out where these two pieces go, and we had no idea. I was looking for lines of these types of fasteners and these types of fasteners, couldn't find it anywhere. We started looking through Eric's old pictures and came across one that had something that kind of looked like this that was taken last year when we first started working on this project. But since that picture was taken, it has dry rotted off of the original piece. We went back through, figured out that this piece right here is actually supposed to go right there. Let's rewind back to our original cover. We've got this little beauty. If you can imagine, that was what we had to start with. So this entire cover, the windows, everything looks like this. So we had pieces that were worn away, broke, stitching literally disintegrated over years of use and sun and weather. And so now, oh perfect, we are looking at these the old and the new. And so we've taken off and removed hardware. We've replaced some like new rivets, 
but then we saved pieces like this middle bar that were here and transplanted them onto the new ones with a beautiful new powder coated finish ready for a new life. So we saved what we could, salvaged what we could, but then really revamped it and are giving it this incredible oh, second life. I guess it went pretty well, cause we're taking it for a spin. You know I do it all for you, babe. Eric, that was so much fun. It was awesome. Thanks for letting us get the Unimog back up and running and in ship shape. We got the roof put on, we got the doors put on, new windows, the windows roll up in the back. It was a blast, we really appreciate it. Well, thank, thank you. you, it was a pleasure working with you guys. It turned out great, so uh, I think we're, I think this is just what this thing needed, so thank you very much. New life for a great classical vehicle. Mm -hmm.